good morning, afternoon, night, all you beautiful people. It's Pineapple Path 1 here. And I did do a Chromebook unboxing, link in the description. But as you know, the Chromebook is an online based Chrome browser notebook, netbook. So you can't do much you know, things offline. But you can't put Ubuntu on it. And what Ubuntu is, is it's basically the best thing for the Chromebook if you are going to be online sometimes, but offline sometimes, because I know students don't always have Wi-Fi in all their buildings, and maybe you want to type something, and if you don't have Wi-Fi with this Chromebook, you cannot type documents, you can't do anything. So that basically turns it into a brick or a big clock paperweight. So if you'd like to maybe do that, stay tuned. Okay, you're gonna wanna turn on developer mode and turn off OS verifications. How this is done is you press the escape button, the refresh button, and the power button, all at the same time. So don't be afraid of this screen. I know it looks very scary and it's like a monster underneath your bed. I will be a guardian angel. Okay, you're gonna press Control D at the same time and you'll get to this screen right here. And you are going to press enter whenever you want it. You'll get the black screen and it'll say OS verifications off. Press space to re-enable. Now you can press space, but that'll completely undo all the stuff that you already done. So just wait for the two beeps. It'll go beep, beep, and then you're all good. Okay, so now it is transitioning to developer mode. You have your startup time on the top left. It also tells you that this is not supported by Google, so anything that you do do is against Google. <laughs> I said do do. Okay, it is now preparing in developer mode. On the top left, you have the time that you have been in the setup. And on the right, you have the ETA that it has you done. Okay, I am almost done now. Okay, when you finish, you'll get a black screen and you'll get the normal OS verifications is off press space to enable once again do not press space and just wait it out till those two beeps come around okay it is now in developer mode it is booting like it did boot the first time it is completely flash restored and you will have to set it up like the first time you got it where you're from what your Wi-Fi connection is what kind of keyboard you want press enter accept their terms of service then it'll check for updates then you put in your username and password go pick your picture once it loads pick your picture there's mine all right you are now going to go to the link that i have in the screen if you can see that good for you if you cannot i will put it in the description press the http spot right there that i have my cursor on download it you'll get the little crouton okay now you're going to press control Alt and T to open up the terminal. Here's the terminal. Looking sexy and all. So now you're just gonna type in shell to go into the shell. There we go. Okay, what you're gonna want to type in now is sudo space sh space slash e space squiggly slash capital D and then you're going to press tab and then slash and then C for crouton and then tab again and then slash dash T space X F C E Ooh, that's a mouthful Right now there's your command thing now you're just gonna press enter and you're gonna get this you're gonna get respect the privacy of others think before you type and one of the best spider-man quotes I could think of with great power comes great responsibility okay the process of downloading and installing all these different things is going to take a while depending on how fast your internet is and how fast it can download everything and then install it it is going to take about an hour to two hours. 
All right, it is now asking me for my username, whatever I would like it to be. Pineapple Pat One suits me just fine. Password, whatever you would like. Alrighty, now you're just going to type in start XFCE4, and that is going to take you right to XFCE Ubuntu. Ready? Here we go. And here we are. Now we get this little option here. If you don't know what you're doing on all these options, press the one that I press. If you do know what you're doing, press the other one. Okay, we are now going to check for updates. So just go into the terminal via the application menu and type in sudo space apt slash get that's get and space update now press enter anything that you try and do in the terminal download anything and it's going to ask you for your password enter that in it's going to download all this special stuff almost done and there it is it's all done now what you're going to do is all right now what you're going to type in is sudo space app dash get space install space sympathetic press enter and there you go you got that now we're going to check out some of your preferences in your to make it look like my screen and make it less ugly and such just right click and go to desktop settings and you can pick from what desktop layout you can get you can get a personal one or you can just pick from the defaults you can, pick, you can pick what colors, you can pick what size you want your icons, and what size you want the font underneath the icons, what size you want all the font on the entire layout to be. Here we go, go to settings, appearance, and you can set the all around look about it. From GNOME, there we got different ones, you can set the text different different sizes and we type in settings and that's all you could change whatever you want there and that's that okay now you can switch through what you want to be in right now I am currently in Google Chrome but what you're gonna press is the control the alt the shift and the corresponding key to get back to Chrome. It's this one to get back to the Ubuntu. It's this key. So it's, it'll work. Okay, so now you'll get a blank screen. But that's okay because you could just got to wiggle the mouse area. And set in your password. And here it is, Ubuntu at its finest. Yeah, it's Ubuntu and to switch back, you just gotta do the opposite and press the key that faces to the left. This one. Oh shit. I don't know if I can do it. Okay, and back, and back, and back, 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 back. back. And that's that. Thank you. Thank you for watching uh, this installment of Pound for Pat does stuff that might be useful to some people. If you found this helpful, please leave a like. Add to your favorites to do it to your friend's Chromebook. Do whatever you like. Leave a comment if you have a question. I'll get back to you on that. Subscribe for the latest in tech. Thank you once again. Have a great day.